Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for March Comes In Like a Lion, Chapter 162, if I recall correctly. Yeah, sounds right. Uh, when we last left off, we cut from the uh, the dinner with the Kawamotos all the way to October. I'm not quite sure how long a time jump that was. I don't remember when we were uh, in the previous arc. But it's now the, I think, finals of the prelims for the Shishio tournament, uh, and... Kiriyama is up against uh, the teacher of Nobidome, uh, whose name is... I just reread the chapter, but I can't remember it. I'll remember it during the chapter. It'll be fine. Uh, who's an old man, but is really good at changing up his play style, uh, which is not a common thing to do when you're in your 50s. Um, but the last chapter was really just the setup for the game, and now we're at the game. So let's jump right on in to chapter 162, Path Part 2. And we cut, much like... Uh, our cover picture here is much like... Um, Last chapter of Nobidome running, stronger, faster, further. Azusa presses forward. Running sort of makes your heart pass, doesn't it? Nobidome Azusa. Um, so we jump right on into a uh, man in the black suit who I might be the funeral guy. I don't quite remember. Um, hey, Toku-chan. I think that's the, uh, the shogi president. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, Saku-chan. Some match staff member asked me to please stand guard over this person. Uh, what happened, Nami-chan? Apparently, he was doing research for his written commentary in Shogi World magazine. Excuse me, the players have been claiming they're having extraordinary difficulty, difficult time concentrating. <laughs> oh, he's just so weird that, like, they had to take him out of, the, out of the match. This is a violation of the freedom of the press! Please bring it up with the president! And they've requested that the one responsible comes forward, and they brought him here. The one responsible is the president, who I guess invited him here. Yes, yeah, so Name Chan gets a bit too enthusiastic when it comes to game commentary. Uh, Name kind of like puts his hand over his mouth. As a lover of Shogi, I cannot simply read records of the games. I must pay close, scrupulous attention to the players' expressions. That Name Chan, he's just got too much passion for other players. That passion is going to come to a boil and overflow soon, I'm certain. Yep, and I've got a good feeling it'll be too much for people in the middle of playing matches to handle. Something like that. Uh, I'm assuming this is like a vision of what how things are going to be of Name like peering in through the open door as the players are like shocked. Yes, indeed, I can see how the players reacted. Well, how about some tea? It's three o'clock. So, whose match were you researching today? Uh, Name like turns to him excited. Oh yes, well today, Tanaka Seven Don versus Kiriyama Six Don. Tanaka, that was his name. I remember now. Uh, the finals of the Shishio Championship Group Four. Ah, uh, yeah, that does sound like a good one. During the Group 4 semifinals, Kiriyama tore, ta tore Tanaka-san's disciple to shreds, despite some dogged persistence. Yeah, Azunyan, that was such a good match. So I guess this is the match right after the last arc. I figured there had been some kind of gap after, um, last chapter said it was like, oh, and then it became October. Maybe last chapter, maybe the, the Nobidome match was just like the end of, uh, the end of September, and then like a week happened, and now it's October again. Anyway. Someone 34 years his junior made his disciple cry, which really gave this master a power-up, despite being 54 years old. How will Tanaka Seven Don come out of the gate, with defense, defense, and more defense? Crushing heavy machinery from Sendagaya. And we have an image here of Tanaka, um, in, like, a tractor, uh, rolling over the shogi board. Uh, and Tanaka plays a piece, um, huh? 3-3-K? Wait, what? What just happened to me? I was supposed to be launching an attack. So just like that, while it seemed like Tanaka was on the defense, he seems to have made some kind of offensive move. If he sees an opening, he'll step on the accelerator without hesitation. It's a Kaku exchange, and I'm Sente. I figured that if I jumped the K and came at him from above, then even Tanaka-san's defense couldn't withstand it. That's just how games work out when you do a Kaku exchange. This was supposed to be something I'd researched and planned for. If this were the old Tanaka-san I was up against, his defense against this Kaku would have, been, would have for sure been a 2-2 Gyoku head-on defense. That would have been difficult enough to respond to in its own right, but if I'd kept up my attack from above, it should have overcome him, overcome him in the end. But now... Er, no, wait. What do I do? What's the move here? How do I weather this attack? Did I even show an opening in the first place? Uh, and the, the three in the, the president and Name and uh, the other guy are, like, watching on the laptop. Where'd that 3-3-K come from? Now there's a move that'll make your heart stop. 3-3-K? Not 2 2 Gyoku? All of a sudden, he's going whole hog. This is like grabbing your house's support beam by swinging at your enemy. <laughs> Darn it, before I 3-4 Kaku, should I have gone with 1-2 Fu? No, I need to make the exchange. 
Um, and then from the other side, back in the back in the commentary room, oh, Kiriyama kun looks befuddled. That was because right when he unsheathed his sword and was ready to go, somebody swung a support beam down on his head. And we have an image of Tanaka with a gigantic support beam, and Kiriyama with like a bandage on his head, dropping his sword. <laughs> Playing a one-two food drop first might have come with its own problems, but yeah, the three-four kaku there was a blunder. Oh, Kiriyama made his move. It's one-two foo. After taking up all that time stressing over it, he finally goes with one-two foo. Might be a bit late for that, Kiriyama. But well, he had no choice if he wanted to save face after that three-four kaku. After the one-two foo drop, next should be one-one foo. This was back in uh, Kiriyama's head. Next should be one-one foo promote. So first I gain a ko. Uh, Tanaka thinks for a second. Oh, next we've got four or five k from Tanaka-san. I want to keep him running for. for if I want to keep him from running away with this, uh, back in the commentary room, how are we going to respond, Tanaka Seven Don? Uh, and Tanaka plays a piece down. Oh, five seven K left promote. He jumped the K to the third rank. That Tanaka Seven Don is so exhilarating. Uh, so, and that's the end of the chapter. Uh, Sangatsu no Lion continues August twenty third, um, which is today. So the next chapter I saw on Human and Nobu's website is is already being worked on. Hopefully, be out fairly soon. Um. So, my thoughts on the chapter. Um, I think this is definitely lacking in a way that um, the Nobidome fight... The, no the Nobidome fight really worked as an exploration of Nobidome as a character. Uh, and we're not really getting that so far with uh, Tanaka. Um, it's really... Like, this This chapter is far more um, buried in the, like, specifics of Shogi playing uh, than I think most of, the, most of the series' best work is. Uh, and as someone who doesn't really get much of Shogi, uh, and is really only in this for the character dynamics, uh, it kind of doesn't work as well for me. Um, but that's kind of what I what I signed on for <laughs> when I started doing this manga. Um, but yeah, it really is kind of just um, a few turns of a Shogi match, and not a whole lot of, of uh, character work going on here. We do get some funny bits of just how creepy Name is accidentally, which is nice. Um, but beyond that, this is kind of a slight chapter. It wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. I'm hoping um, as we get further on in this arc, um, we'll see more uh, character interactions, or char character uh, exploration taking a forefront like it did back in the Nobidome fights. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this video off here. If you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself, if you did, please let me a like, or subscribe, or do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!